Yes, Mr. Green, what did you make of that game tonight? Uh, it was a good test. We played some really, really good stuff. Um, and then we got a little bit slack, got a little bit involved in things that we didn't need to get involved in. Um, and it made it tighter than it needed to be. But it's a good lesson for our young players in getting through a round uh, in a competition that we've singularly failed to get through the first round in the last couple of years. So they, they managed that really well. I gave them the challenge of getting through to the next round. They did it. Could we have been more comfortable? Absolutely, we could have been. We need to be more clinical in the final third. But it's a good learning curve for the young players playing against mature athletes again. And good to see some of our younger players getting on the pitch as well. And you dominated the first half really and did create some good chances, like you said. I, I keep on saying to them, if they don't take their chances, it's going to come back and bite you in the backside. And it did. Um, and then it got a bit frantic for a little bit, yeah, including um, some of our play got a bit ratty and a bit erratic. And we got, once again, I said we got involved with the referee when we didn't really need to, which needed to shift the ball a little bit quicker. Uh, and when we did that, I think you showed our quality and, and the way that we can cut through teams. But we got away from that. I think sometimes when you get a two-goal lead, players, especially young players, can feel a little bit comfortable and then think that they have to do something a little bit different um, rather than doing the things that get them success. So once again, a good lesson for them and it'll no doubt be a good review when we go back in on um, on Thursday. Was it disappointing maybe to lose the goal because Berwick couldn't really start in too much in the, in the net? No, because it's a good learning curve. So as, as long as it doesn't put the game at risk, then it's a good thing for us to learn about. I'm looking at a 3v3 in the bottom corner that suddenly becomes a 3v1 and Jamie Bajonis is on his own because people switch off, they don't actually track runners, a, a free ball comes in and then we get punished for being slack, which is great as long as we don't lose the game from it. So once again, good learning bit from them, good bit to, t to teach them the game and how to manage the game. Um, and as long as it doesn't put the game at risk, I think there's, there's nothing necessarily too bad about conceding goals. Just don't tell my goalkeeping coach said that. Yeah, and you mentioned it a bit there, but you must be pleased with how they saw the game out after that. Yeah. It, Listen, they're down to 10 men uh, and we could have been slicker with the ball. We could have been more patient with the ball, um, but they managed to see it out. I didn't think actually we were ever in danger of losing the game, but I would have liked to have been more comfortable and, and, and be more, more clinical and get the rewards actually they deserved because some of our play was great. We just didn't do that final step, which is for us to go and polish and to hone. And those are the fine mar margins that actually draw a line between success and failure. And they now need to start learning that and seeing that, that their careers are going to be measured on the finest of things. They should do everything they can to make sure that it doesn't go to chance. Uh, and they put the things right in the first half. If they'd have done that, we'd have had a really good evening. And it's John Ra now in the next round. Do you expect that to be another step up again? It'll be another challenge. John Ra um, beat Berwick earlier, so we know they're going to be uh, a difficult proposition. But we're comfortable we can go and play our football. We can go and deal with whatever threat is thrown at us. And to be honest, it's about challenging these players. Tonight was a challenge. We need another challenge, a, a bigger challenge. Uh, and I've got no doubt the guys will respond. So as long as we get that, then I'm really looking forward to what these guys can do.